So contour your face, uh, your nose as you like, and then apply straight uh, the highlighter. This is the right way to do. If your eyes are really deep, don't use too much black color here because then your eyes will look like even more deep than they are. Like a little bit here. Uh, you will also need to draw your jawline. Just go like that. Blend it well, because otherwise it will look like a mask. Uh, this is really good, especially, maybe not like for a day look, but um, you can use it for a day if you want to hide something, but uh, usually it's for pictures, if you know that there's going to be an event where they're going to take pictures, this is really good. And you can apply here, like you know, here. Uh, if you have a second chin, I don't. I don't need it. But I'm just showing you. Just a little bit. Okay, now, if you have, like, really a lot of space here, like I do, apply the color here. Then it will show that your forehead is smaller. Oh, you see? That's not a problem. I will hide it, but if you're new to makeup, don't put that much color there. So then my forehead looks kind of smaller. The same thing with these spaces, like I have a lot of space there, so I can blend it. If you have like really small space here, don't do that. Well camera doesn't show everything, but make sure that you don't spoil the picture okay so far so good um, now we're going to highlight and I'm using absolutely the same brush I'm just taking the color off and I'm using this white color by MAC and I already told you the name I'm applying the color on the brush and I start off with my nose because of the room light, you may not see things well, but I will try to show it on the picture. And believe me, it looks fabulous. This is how makeup artists do that. So make that line straight, because otherwise your nose will look... Um, if your eyes are really deep, put white color here. It will bring them back here in front, I mean, same here. You see, it's like whew, closer. Same thing here. Uh, when you stop modeling, if this part like goes kind of here and you want to make it shorter, after contouring, you apply white color here and it should go like a triangle from here to here and all the space has to be kind of like radiant uh, whitish apply it also under the eyes and actually you can see the pictures from Dior especially and you can actually see that they're having like a highlighter here it looks fabulous honestly um, in the real life and on the pictures too. Like here, it has to be a triangle, this thing. It makes your face round. I mean, like, you know, because otherwise it looks like really flat. You see? Dark here, highlighted here, dark here, dark here here but forehead from here to here is an oval do it like there it looks absolutely amazing put the white here uh, white definitely here to this part and if your nose goes like really deep there put more color more white color 
then it will not look that deep. Also, put white color here, up, and if you're 20, uh, I'm sorry, if you're like 40 or something, definitely do that because then you will look younger. Get some color here because it really looks sexy, like your lips are really sexy. If your nose is really small, put like color here. If not, you can experiment. Put more black color here if it's too big. And it will look just great. Um, girls and boys, um, this is it for contouring, highlighting. This is everything that I could tell you about that. I'll take a picture so you can see. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your feedback. I wish you all the best. And um, thank you. Bye-bye.